If you're looking to leverage AI to brush up on some programming skills or learn something new, but at the same time, you're worried about it stealing those moments of deep focus, deep thinking, deep learning, well, I might have a solution for you to try out. So I've got VS Code open and I've got GitHub Copilot chat open here on the right. And the first thing we need is a custom chat mode. If I click on this drop down here at the bottom left of GitHub Copilot chat, I can see I have access to the built-in chat modes, agent ask and edit, and then we have a list of custom ones. In my case, I have learning. And then I have my learning.chatmode.markdown file open. And this is all we need to define a chat mode. It's just text, it's markdown, right? Now we can provide a description, the tools that this chat mode will have access to, and then just some custom instructions for it. The most important being this one at the bottom that says, no matter what, do not provide complete solutions, which I think is very important when you're learning, studying, and really trying to understand what's going on. Now, next we have a prompt file, which essentially becomes a command or a list of commands that we can execute. Now I have this one that's called generate list comp exercise. And once again, we have just text, right? Just mark down to, uh, define this. I have some context. I have some core concepts that I want to practice and then tasks starting off with create exercise three digit number dot pi. So I'm asking it to create a Python file and a little bit more information as to what I expect in that Python file and just some guidelines on the expected result guidelines. Now you might not get this perfect on the first time, which is completely fine. But I think additionally from practicing whatever it is that you're practicing, you'll start to learn how to get more and more out of your AI tools when you are working with sort of getting more detailed and be like better prompts, better chat modes, better custom instructions and things like that. And you're kind of developing two skills at the same time, which I think is pretty cool. So how does this work? Well, we select our custom chat mode and I go ahead and click on slash, which allows us to invoke a custom command. And I will select the generate list comp exercise, which once again is just this prompt markdown file that I have. And it's gone ahead and created a new exercise file 007. And it's done seven because I have five, six, and seven already. Okay, so let's go ahead and work through this exercise and see how we can leverage the chat mode to have a little bit of a back and forth in case I get stuck or anything like that, right? So I'm first gonna put this on a new line just so it's easier to read and let's read through this. Given the list of numbers below, we're gonna move this out here because we need it outside of a comment. We want a new list containing the squares of all even numbers. Great, so let's say I don't know how to get a square of a number in Python, right? So I'm going to select here and then inside of make sure I'm selecting learning mode again, I'm going to ask, how do I square a number in Python? Actually, before I even do this, I'm going to say, can you just give, give me the solution, please? Let's see if it does it. <laughs> it's not supposed to, but let's see if it does. It. It says, as your Python mentor, I cannot pro provide the complete solution directly, but I can guide you towards it. Think about how, okay, well, it gives us more information there too. Okay, so let's do that. So let's create the list here. We want the square, uh, we'll say squares of even numbers, right? And then because this is a list, we are going to make sure we have this inside of square brackets, right? So we've got our list there, our new list. And then this is a list comprehension. So we're going to have to loop over uh, this numbers list here. So what we can say is n for n in numbers. And that essentially iterates over each of these numbers, right? But we want the square, right? So I know we're supposed to use either like pow or we can use like the double asterisk. Well, let's say I didn't know that. And then I select this and say, how can I square, square a number in Python, right? So we're selecting that. We're gonna ask for some help. Great question, Python, you can square a number using 
the exponentiation, the word always throws me off, operate, which is the double asterisk, like I mentioned. For example, n double asterisk 2 gives you n squared. Okay, great. So that's kind of giving me a little bit of a hint there as well. So we're going to do this by 2, then we know it's a square. Okay, but this did not ask just for all of the squares, right? It says of all even numbers, right? So I know here we're going to need to use condition, right? So if n, which would be that number, we are uh, getting over each iteration. And then we can do the, uh, what's this called? Mod. I think this is called mod. And by 2, and then make sure this is equal to, equal to 0. I actually don't know. I think this is called modulus. This is called ma modulus, right? I probably spelled that correctly. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly too. <laughs> mo modulus or modulo operator. It gives you the remainder after dividing one number by another. Okay, great. And now I can go ahead and just print the entire thing. Oh no, I printed the wrong one. Now we do square of even numbers, right? Let's go ahead and pull up the terminal and then we will move into chapter two because that's where this is in. And I'm going to move my cam up here, and then we're going to go do UV, UV run. And this is exercise 007.py. And we have the correct result comparing to this. Now, of course, always check your answers and always check what the LLM generates for you. But this one was pretty straightforward, so no issue here. I can also do something like this, select this, and say, here is my solution. Please... Grade it. Let's ask it to grade, grade it and give us feedback. Hopefully it gives us feedback. Your solution is very pythonic and clear. You've used the list comprehension to both filter and transform, and it does give us a few points to consider. The use of n modulus 2 uh, equal equals 0 for filtering even numbers is idiomatic and efficient. n asterisk asterisk 2 is the standard way to express squaring in Python. The variable name of squares of even numbers is descriptive and follows good naming conventions. Oh, and it gives us a couple of things to deepen your understanding. Why do you think list comps are preferred over... Okay, a couple of more things for you to kind of dive in deeper into. So give us a try. Let me know if it works for you. And let me know if you want more videos of these uh, chat bows and prompts that I like to leverage.